Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting and reading to episode 7 and 8 of Sounds of Life. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 7 in 3, 2, 1, go. <clears throat> I kind of figured they just would have started with the opening, but still, I mean, you know how you just want to skip the opening and just watch the episode? I mean, because, like, episode six, that ending, wasn't expecting that ending because, um, Hosaki, you got some explained to you, girl. I, I wasn't expecting that. I mean, this was supposedly a rich girl, and I was just thinking, okay, what the hell is happening? I'm a little confused on it. You would have think that, you know, maybe an episode or two ago that maybe she would have shared this to the guys, but it's still a secret that she has. And then with, you know, heal, I got a lot of questions on her. I mean, because, yeah, she's a bitch, but I still like her character. She's so interesting, but, um, don't know. Yeah, because you, you missed school. Exactly, and now I feel like I don't know anything about her, too. I thought I got an illness when I was young. My mom was sweet to me. But because he's gone now, you're the grandmaster. I don't want to do it. And because of that, she was hard on her. And essentially, this is why she's hard on them.
And then she stopped having friends, and people stopped inviting her in places. Thing was, okay, on his own. Uh, I, I still get names confused with the staff. But that's not fair, though. She needs to have a life outside of this. Exactly. Just because you're her mother doesn't mean you can't do everything for her. You have the right to listen to what she has to say. Okay, so we're only seven minutes in, and I really don't like Ozuki's mom. I mean, girl, to know that her mom has been this hard on her, this rough on her for such a long time, it, it's just like, oh, God, I, I don't know how to describe it right now, but I, ha I have the word that just to get it out right now. Mm -hmm. She was happy and didn't have to hear stuff from other people. And that had to be the reason why you moved. You just couldn't handle it anymore. You feel like you failed. You gotta feel bad for Hoseki, though. You would never think a girl like her had to deal with this. For such a long time. So she could possibly go yell at somebody else not her.
it's almost like how her mother has drained all of her energy out of her. Oh, <laughs> of course, he still be here. Seems like it's the next day. There's nothing really to say. It's fine. Talk when you're ready. Oh, you need your food? It's just like home, doesn't it? He didn't have to do that. Go to home. Mm. Now she's going to use that stuff that, um, her family member told her about her last week, right, against her. Oh, I bet you are, because you have ish. Oh. No, 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 no. No, it's just stress. Kiro. I don't like that Hiro said what she said, but I still like her as a character. I still think, you know, she has a possibility to redeem herself, but it, Hozuki should have been the one to set this. Mm. So that's why. Like, exiled. Yeah. So, like, if you guys saw her mom somewhere, and if she went up to her, she wouldn't talk to her. Nobody would talk to her. Mm-hmm. At least one cares. Oh my god. That is his nicer way.
Pero... You don't really mean that, though. Oh, damn. Hmm. Of course. No, I just think you're that on. Gotta feel sad for her. <laughs> now she shows her face. Because we're almost done with this episode. Let's say we get into the next episode and it's the next day. If she shows her face back to this club, I, I think they would really, like, want nothing to do with her. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Mm -hmm. of course there's a reason you're just running away from it and you're just not ready to say it and I get that it may take an episode or two or three To prove you wrong. And that's it. Because they both felt empty before. And to see someone. Mm -hmm. Empty and jealous.
No. <laughs> You're still a member, no matter what. Honestly, this episode was really for both of these girls to know that, yes, not only are they empty as fuck, but jealous as fuck, too. Hoseki, I, it was exactly what I expected it was going to be. Some of the things I wasn't truly expecting for it, but to know that because of people talking to her mother is why her mom is the way she is and now, and she's lashed out of her daughter and to the point now she's exiled and she's living on her own and she feels like she's failed trying to get her message out to her mom of how she truly feels and how she just wants everything to go back to the way it was when her father was still alive but who knows if it'll ever truly be able to go back that same way now with Hiro and her situation it's just more of lies. That's just the biggest key word that you see with her. Um, misunderstandings and such. And she just seems, at first, like, I thought she was a really a nice girl, but then knowing that this girl was also the type of girl who's like, oh, hey, if there's some drama on somebody, I want to know what it is. And I, like, I just want to tell someone ASAP. So I kept thinking, especially with this episode, you know, coming that she was only going to be here for a couple episodes and she was never going to come back because she seems like the bitchy type of character. But with the fact is that she's finally, you know, said, well, not really, that her and Hanazoki are very similar and such. We're going to see them, you know, not really Hanazoki, more, uh, more Kirito, in a better light. She she's gonna be redeemed after this. I think a lot of people maybe had a little mixed feelings with her, especially when she came onto the scene, but now because of this episode, everybody's kinda looking at her a different light. I don't know. I can only really kind of say for myself until this comes out. But I, I still like her. I still think she's interesting, but it's just at the same time probably it's gonna give give it maybe an episode or two or three. Um when you just look at her, you're just going to be reminded of what all happened, you know, an episode ago. Just looking at her straight in the face. But she has a redeeming quality. Anyone in this show does. Truly, whether they say something for the good or for the bad, they can turn it around and make it into something better. Honestly, um, <laughs> Kenita did not need that slap on it uh, with the bag. But I, I get that because she was upset and sad and everything and she took it out on him because sometimes you know you have to take it on someone or at least yourself but yeah it was a really good episode and I'm glad I'm just hoping that the next few episodes with these two girls that they're able to talk it out I hope that Hosuki is I, I keep saying Hosuki Honozoki um is able to talk to Kuro about anything that she needs to talk about Onozoki is that type of girl who, yes, has a lot of things. And because the fact is that we just found out that she's exiled, she's going to need someone else besides the whole entire group to talk to. And so I think it's going to be good. Maybe. Who knows? But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode eight. Okay. Episode eight in three, two, one, go. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Why the heck am I sleepy at 8.30 at night? I got one more show to watch after this. Pfft. 
Okay, girl. What's so mean? Come on. That's why he did it. Because he wants you to have friends. Come on, Ozuki. Oh my god, he's so sweet. That was so sweet. He didn't have to do that, honestly. And it's freezing in here. That's just the pain on the feedback, honestly. Okay, so we've already learned about Kudo and Uzuki, so now it should be Kedita, more about him. It should be an episode about him, maybe. Yeah, you're redeeming yourself, though. Good job, you know. Yeah, honestly. Mm. I don't check it. So cute. Oh my god, I can't. I swear to god, if these two do not get it, get together by the end of this series, we are gonna have a problem.
See, the one thing I like when Wonozoki is playing, it's like she puts her whole entire being into it. Her, her soul. She turns it and makes it her own. <laughs> You can feel every emotion that she's feeling when she plays it. <laughs> yeah, your way is going to be completely different with hers. You do it on your own. You know, Suzu Senpai, could you just, like, shut up? I know, even though he's a teacher, I just said Senpai, but still, he needs to shut up. I mean, as a teacher, like, I know he has his rights and his dues, but he's just now, for the last few episodes, been coming to check on these kids. So, I mean, I, to me, he feels unnecessary as hell. I'm sorry. Oh my god, that's a really nice apartment. Yeah, what does your aunt do? <laughs> well, I mean, hold up. It's her place, and so she can do whatever the hell she wants to. You're just staying here. Hmm? Uh, okay. I get that. You play it when you're ready. She's right about that.
Just plain. That's what music does to anyone. Maybe he was thinking about you and how much he loves you. Oh my god. <laughs> it's okay. Oh my god, it smiles so precious. He's so cute. Uh -huh. Using good hands. Mm -hmm. That too. Who are you to host a kid? I'm guessing a rival. Are you a germaphobe? So is this like an all girls school that you go to? I mean...
He's so cute, though. Mm, poor Carson. You know, um, Kazusa kind of reminds me of the girls of the Zuka Club from Orin High School House Club. They just want to always get hotter here to come to their school. <laughs> Might as well. But did you get in? You didn't get in, did you? Yeah. Are you sure? Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, you okay? He's right about that, though.
No, nah, it's just she has a crush on you and you can't see it. Okay, this is bringing back some memories for him because he didn't get in. That was the thing. He's going to see his friends from his past, aren't he? Isn't he? He has to be. Like, come on now. It makes the most sense. People from his past are going to see him, probably ask him how he's doing and everything. And it's like that. Who knows? I'm glad Jose said how she felt. That was sweet. We honestly needed to hear that because, come on now. She truly enjoys being with everyone. They're all a band of misfits in their own special way, and they've all came together for a reason because they all either saw someone else play or they just love the sound of it. And it's sweet. Gotta love them, though. I mean, for Hiro to take her nails off and not be able to get them done anymore just to play this instrument, it's a step in the right direction for her, for her redeeming herself. And I'm glad, even with the fact that, yes, you told the truth to those girls and she got slapped in the face. That's another redeeming quality for her. And so I'm glad that she was able to do that. But I have so many questions on Pedita, and maybe next week we'll be able to get those answers, maybe. Who knows? It just depends. But I hope it goes well for them, for what they're going to see in here. What we're going to see in here. But it seems like he is going to run away from his problems and how he feels. And either Hozu or um, Kuro. My money's on Kuro. Kuro is going to be the one to talk to him. Hozu, Kurata, and <laughs> Kudo, they, they bring the good out of each other. They bring themselves together. They're like, when one's up, when one's down, the other two are up, and so on and so forth. They bring each other up and help each other, and it's just sweet. The other the other group does, and this, it, the other do in this group, but I think just with those three, because they've been there since the beginning of this, it's more, they have like a better connection and understanding of each other rather than the other four who are also in this group with them, but who knows. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes eight and, no, not episodes eight, episodes seven and eight, my vibe of Sounds of Life. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys especially all next Friday for Patreons, and next Tuesday for everybody else for episodes 9 and 10. Bye, guys!